What's up guys, Marxist Cars back here again with another video. Today I'll be unboxing the theme selection for Son Goku. I found this today at my local Target for $29.99 if you guys were looking to pick it up. I just want to give you guys a quick rundown and show you guys what to expect out of the box. Um, just in case you guys haven't seen it anywhere else yet. Um, so this is the box, this is the packaging, the packaging is really nice. Um, this box comes with 15 cards. This um, table of contents pretty much is basically showing you the color, the rarity, and um, the cards that are in the box. So basically, this is more so for people that play the game. Um, so, yep, time to get into it. Wow, oh, here goes the packaging. Here goes the booklet, just like with the Vegeta version of this. This is part two of that, you know, the uh, theme selection. So, shows you the different cards, just like I showed in the last video. Shows the different cards that you will get in the, the box. Shows you basically what to expect, basically just a teaser. Then let's get into it. Um, let's start off from left to right this time so just like with the vegeta deck they come with the sleeve five card packs basically showing you all the different cards that come into the the box um just like with the vegeta the rarity is right here at the bottom showing you what kind of like what rarity the card is same thing as with the vegeta deck that some of these it's only three cards that have the gold stamping to it but this foiling on the back, you know, in the background is really what makes these cards um, pop and makes them so interesting. Um, I don't think, I mean, I personally haven't seen anything like this as, as long as I've been into the, uh, the DBS side of things. So these cards are pretty sick and interesting to me. Um, so, you know, the foiling makes them pop. I wonder if the camera's getting it good here, if you can see it. But here we got Son Goku, Pride of the Sands, which is a sick card as well. Intensive Training, Son Goku, which is another nice one. SSB, Son Goku, The New Extremes. This is a very iconic scene in the anime, and I love this card. Um, but yeah, so just like I asked in the Vegeta side of things, what is your favorite form of Goku? Um, let me know down in the comment section below. Uh, me personally, my favorite form, just like I said with Vegeta, I'm a GT sucker, so uh, SS4 is it for me. My favorite character of all time is that character right there in the back, SS4 Gogeta. I'm a huge Gogeta fan as well. Ultra Instinct Goku's Kamehameha. Um, this is I think this is the iconic attack rare, which is pretty sick. Son Goku forever in our memories. Yeah, these Goku cards, um, in my opinion so far, from what I've seen, is they're definitely these cards are a lot better than the Vegeta ones. In my opinion, if I would have to, you know, rank them. Um Son Goku, the legend of personified. It's a pretty sick one as well. Son Goku Allies in the Heart. This foiling is really sick. Ultra Instinct Goku, the Unstoppable. This is a really cool one as well. I think the, the Goku cards um, benefit a lot more from the silver background. The, it makes a lot of the cards in this um, in this one pop. Um, like, especially with this one right here, the silver really makes it pop. With the Vegeta ones, it, it wasn't the same as, you know... A lot of them, I feel like they would have been a lot better if they were gold stamped. The gold stamping would have definitely made them a lot better. Like, especially this card right here. This this silver background foiling, it makes this look a lot more detailed. Uh -uh -uh. Let me fix the cards up properly over here. Mm -mm. But back to what I was saying with the... Uh, the a favorite um, 
forms. Yeah, you know, you guys let me know down below what's your favorite form of Goku. Um, and also, who's your favorite? Are you Team Goku or Team Vegeta? SS Force on Goku Protector of the Earth. This is a pretty cool card as well. Um, I love the fact that he's like standing on the, I'm pretty sure in the anime it was a rock, but it looks like he's standing on the side of a mountain from the picture. Desperate Measures. Oh my goodness, this card brings back so many memories, not from the anime, but from the game Budokai Tenkaichi. If you've played that game, if you've, if you've ever played that game, let me know in the comments how bad you struggle with this, um, this mission. Because that, that mission was so hard to get him to stay on that line. And it was just like, oh my god. Karin's Tower Secret Medicine. My boy Yajirobe. Oh my goodness. This this card right here is... The, the, the Goku cards significantly benefit from this... Blue, this not blue foiling. The silver foiling. It's just like it makes it pop so much more like... None of the Vegeta cards probably look as good as these Goku cards do with this foil, like, in my opinion. And this this one right here, like, this is crazy. These, this silver foiling really benefits the um, Goku cards, like, seriously. Like, I probably could go through and, and pick out at least half of these that really benefit from um, the... Um, the silver foiling, like, these cards are really dope, like, the silver foiling really makes these cards pop. Like, even on this one, it doesn't really need it, like, it doesn't have that, that white backgrounding to it. This one right here looks pretty sick with the, the foiling, this one too, it's just like, they knocked it out of the park with the Goku side of things, honestly. I really cannot complain with the Goku version of this and I can't complain about the Vegeta version at all either but um let me got let me know down in the comments um what you guys um thought of the unboxing for both of these let me know which ones are your favorite um as a matter of fact let me get the Vegeta side of things let me know which one you guys preferred out of the the Vegeta and the Goku Like, this card right here benefits a lot from the silver foiling. And then, let's go on over to the Goku side of things. Let me know which one you guys really like better. If you prefer to have the, um, the Vegeta or the Goku. Um, personally, if I would have to say, I would just get whichever one you like. Um, it's, it's not about getting the most expensive one or whichever one costs the most. It's more so about getting the one that you like the most. That's really what it's about. My bad. I'm sorry for the pause. Um, I thought someone called me in the house. My bad. Um, sorry. I'll probably cut that out. Um, but yeah, guys, I appreciate you guys for tuning into the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, if you want to see more of my content, I'm really going to try to get on a better schedule and make more videos for you guys if you guys really enjoy it. But this is Marx's Cards, and I will see you guys in the next one.